was getting a new hematology analyzer, and I needed to have, oh gee, 40 or 50 fresh lavender top CBCs in order to check out my instrument. So anybody that got near me and put their arms straight would have got stuck. And it so happened that one of those people was my husband. Lo and behold, he came up with a 22,000 white count and a differential that didn't please me a great deal, but it wasn't massively abnormal. So actually, I drew a second specimen the next day and ran it a second time. When I found the same type of count, I called UCLA and said, I need an appointment for my husband. And they said, well, we can give you one in a month. And I said, no, I need one now. So he saw his internist, I went with him. I took my slides and the internist looked at the results and said, I think you need to see the hematologist who was one floor above us. The head of the medical school department of hematology happened to still be there that day. He saw my husband, he looked at my results, he drew some blood, he looked at his results and he came back with a comment of, well, this is the very best diagnosis I could possibly give you. And I thought, oh good, everything's normal. It wasn't. The diagnosis was chronic myelogenous leukemia. But to me, that wasn't such a hot diagnosis because when I was in training, anything that said leukemia was an automatic death sentence. He said, we have some miracle drugs because if you don't have any side effects from it, there is no end to it. You can live as long as possible within three months his uh, count had started to come to normal. He's been in total remission for over three years now. If he had gone, he had no symptoms whatsoever when this happened. He would have gone, though he did have symptoms, which would have been after it converted from chronic to, to acute. And after acute, it would probably be in about six to nine months because there is no cure for your acute. And I'd have lost him three years ago. To me, the lab test that was done quite accidentally saved his life. And after 61 years, I'm kind of grateful for that. The lab test matters to me because it saved my husband's life.